All right, guys. That's been a few days worth of uh, work, odds and ends and stuff. I love these black rhino wheels. The beadlock part was super easy. Um, they just went together really well. These uh, thorn birds are wicked looking, and they just the beadlock set perfect. Those center caps are a nightmare. Those were a pain in the butt. I had to walk away and leave it a couple days and come back and try it again. And I still didn't get all the screws in. Um, I don't know what's the deal with those. The screws, some of them are different. The, the holes on the wheel are slightly different size. and Some of the holes on the center caps, um, the screw threads in. Some of them it just slides through. And it was a pain. But I got at least four in each one. And I'm calling that good enough because it was stressing me out. So, uh, yeah, I I love the look of that. I I bought these, I tried them on the Gladiator, uh, the SEX 10-3, and they looked fantastic on there, and I was really thinking about it, but I realized on the fronts it was rubbing the portal just enough to, it was dragging, it would be a problem. So I went back to my original plan, threw them on the SCX, uh, the SCX, <laughs> threw them on the C2X, and, uh, yeah, I'm glad I did. So, made a few other changes to this. I, I've been back and forth on suspension. After the last drive up my land on my trail, it I, it just doesn't look right. It didn't set right. I wanted to get it lower. So, the 87 Extra Cab build had the Jalan 2 front shock hoops. I went ahead and swapped those on here for now. Got to get me another set for that rig. And, um, yeah, put my shocks. I made new mounts in the back a couple of videos ago. All the way at the top, as high as you can mount them, through the bed. Did away with the shock hoops in the rear because they're just not tall enough. And I'm not going to throw Jalan 2 hoops on the rear of this. I mean, they may not even fit, I don't think. But um, that bed's Delrin. I mean, it's it's stout stuff. It ain't going nowhere. And I got the stance down probably half an inch. And I'm digging the way it looks with these, these chunky tires on them and these dark wheels. And that body just being gloss gray is just never... It's always rubbed me the wrong way. So I'd had a little accident here during the uh, disassembly and reassembly process. So I was putting the bed back on the truck. I had pulled the whole truck apart last weekend, thinking about putting the forerunner body on it, and it just was not lining up. I was going to have to gut all the electronics and, and redo it. And the forerunner would look cool set up like this with cutout fenders and bobbed maybe. But I'm thinking that's going to have to go on another platform because now I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. But I was putting the bed back together and my, my little short bed, I dropped it on my phone and then it fell on the floor. And my bobbed portion here cracked right down, right down the seam where the glue was. And I'm out of two-part epoxy, so I was like, well, I've got this rusty metal and some, to me, a semi-truck small, tiny Phillips head screw. So I'm just going to screw it back together. <laughs> So just kind of a trail repair, I figured, all right, that's cool. So I started weathering the bed a little bit, and then I thought about it all day today at work, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole truck lightly, see what we get. I need to dull that cab and stuff down because it was way too glossy. The bed, again, was a different shade of gray, one of many. And <laughs> I just, you know, I figured it's already got enough damage, and the damage on the glossy parts didn't look right to me, so... Here we are. So I used a mix of stuff. I tried this new uh, color wash tint. It is French roast color. You can get these at Hobby Lobby or Amazon. I think I have them in my Amazon influencer store. Um, if you buy stuff out of that store, it does help the channel. I get a small commission basically on any of the items that are in that store. But this stuff is available at Hobby Lobby. It is very inexpensive. It's water-based, which caused some issues here because the rust streaks that I also used, they're enamel kind of a stain and they they didn't you know oil and water all that yada yada but it worked i got the color wash tints not for really doing the entire vehicle it's to get in the cracks and the body lines and you can see that really pops on this now it looks like it's just dingy dirty and then i used this as not so much as a like the patina that i'm trying to do but more as a dull coat and it adds a little bit of rust here and there. I did the top and the hood a little heavier, the bed a little heavier. And it just dulled that down and added some stuff. And places where there was damage, and trail pinstripes and stuff like that, it really pops. I've got some really good uh, like tree pinstriping on the roof and stuff that I'll show you here in a minute. 
So it was it was kind of fun. I was experimenting a little bit. I did the headlight and the grill and stuff just lightly with that to uh, just to tie it all together. And um, the tail lights were pre-weathered on this truck. The only thing left to do on this other than drive it and see if we can adjust the shocks and stuff and what we need to do to the suspension still. We need to get the interior out and start looking at it. All black interior. It's all shiny. It just doesn't look right. I think I want to cut the windows, make them open, at least the front driver passenger. And uh, this did come with the uh, new RC four-wheel drive premium interior. So I have the metal trim pieces that go on the door panels and stuff like that that I have not installed. So uh, that'll probably be the next thing we do. And of course, like all 80s Toyotas, I really love that brown interior. Just period correct. So we may end up painting the whole thing, but that'll be after the 87 Extra Cab gets done. And it is coming back to me this week. I did screw up this shiny paint job. Not too bad. It came out pretty good but I didn't properly use the clear coat I was trying to use and uh, had some problems, so I sent it to a good friend of mine who is doing the repair work, and it looks fantastic. And uh, it's show quality. He does amazing work. So uh, shout out to the 110 Rod Shop on Instagram. He's a local friend. He does some really good paint jobs. And uh, yeah, we'll be seeing more of that in a future video. But in the meantime, I had to get all that glossy, shiny crap out of my system and do some rust. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about how this sits, especially. It just looks right. It sits lower than a stock TF2 with these gigantic tires, these cut fenders. I finally got the stance I'm looking for. Now we got to see how it performs, make sure it does everything I need it to. The hood's a little bit better than the top. I've got bad glare going on, but you can see I had some pretty deep scratches in it already. And, uh, yeah, it looks looks pretty slick. I'm, I'm happy with the outcome. Not too aggressive, but it's enough to uh, add a little bit of detail, dull down that gloss a little bit. And um, you can see that wash get, like, in those cowl vents and the hood lines and stuff. Really brings that stuff out, adds some depth to the kit. A little bit close-up of my trail repair bobbed bed. But it, it just adds some depth to it, you know. I hope it did it pretty tastefully. It's pretty light patina for me um, we got a lot of stuff around the, the tailgate latches and even in the, the back cab wall went ahead and did all that um, may add some more stuff on the underside of the bed on the back wall because that's going to be nasty and stuff in real life so we probably need to just kind of miss some black paint on that and uh, pretend it's just mud and stuff slung up under it but for now I'm content but um, yeah I appreciate you guys watching I'm going to quit messing with this because it's going to take a couple days for all this weathering stuff to dry and every time I move it around I'm getting fingerprints in it and I need to just stop touching it and go to bed <laughs> but I uh, appreciate everybody watching and uh, be sure to like subscribe and share and uh, follow me on Instagram and keep it scale I'll see you all in the next video